Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today we are not in the data center, but we are almost as noisy. Um, I've hurt my back, so I'm walking around like an old man who has shit his pants. So I'm gonna make a very short video for you guys because well, I, um, I post videos and I don't skip them even if I'm not feeling too good. So it, but it's gonna be very short. I have a very interesting server here. It's a Hewlett Packard Enterprise server and it's the DL560 generation 10. This is a very powerful server. It, um, it, it carries no less than four CPUs. And each of these CPUs has 18 cores and they are three gigahertz. So it's up there among the very, very fast servers. So uh, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you the numbers and then we're gonna run a benchmark and then you're gonna be impressed and then, um, well, that's gonna be it. So uh, yeah, let's see the server. Here is the server. It's nothing special to look at from the front. There's room for 24 drives here. I only have two in here. I have a boot drive and then I have a very large data drive. Uh, I made the mistake of putting in a... Uh, I tried to install Windows Server on this one and it seems to be a SAS drive and there is no RAID controller in this server so it wouldn't take a SAS drive but it would take a SATA drive so I'm booting off a um, 240 gigabyte SATA drive. It doesn't matter. So it's very noisy because it's set uh, to maximum performance. And uh, as I try to get up with my bad back and go around the back, um, there's nothing special here. It has a couple of network cards and I'm actually hooked into one of the 10 gigabit uh, connections here with a one gigabit uh, thingy. But it doesn't matter because I only have one gigabit in this cable anyway. So yeah, that's the back of it. So let's see the numbers. Uh, we can see that it has an Intel Xeon Gold 6154 CPU, which is a 18 core, 3 gigahertz, or this one is running 2.99 gigahertz. And there are no less than four of those CPUs in this server, so it's a beast. It um, <coughs> also has 1.5 terabytes of RAM, so uh, yeah, we are. We're playing with power here. So this is what that looks like. So uh, there is a total of 72 cores here. And that's a total of 144 threads. So um, they're up here. And uh, it's not doing much. 1%, 1%. Yeah, we are in definite need of, um, of stressing this server a little bit because uh, it's having a boring time here speed it actually says here 3.68 gigahertz so it even has turbo boost uh, running so to test it out i have a cinebench and i have a, the old version here that i think we'll test first the r15 i guess that is from 2015 so let's go in there and open that and um, open with yeah, this server does not have a graphics card as such. So we're just going to run the CPU test. CPU. Uh, and that is fairly quick. It uh, scores really good over here and it didn't take long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it scores. 4933 it uh, beats everything and this is a two processors of the x5650s and yeah and this is an old program so the cpus that it's comparing with are kind of old it also does not recognize the windows server 2022 that i have on here this one is 10 years older but well it's still working so let's run the, the newer version. Do you want to see? Yeah, let's see. Ah, uh, Cinebench. 23. 
So this is from next year. Uh, um, uh, probably not. But that starts out really well as well. So we can here we can test multiple cores or we can test single cores. I think the multiple cores is funniest. So it's um, it's gonna do that. Apparently it's gonna do that for uh, ten minutes and do this testing. The resolution of this server is awful. So as you can see, you can't see much of the picture. There is as much over here that it's calculating. But it, um, it did really well down here. It ran directly into a first place, which we can't see. Okay, it's too busy working, so um, I'm not getting to see the result here, but it's, it seems to be doing really well. Okay, I found a way to, to see what is happening here. It, uh, when I put the mouse over it, it, it tells me what it sees. So it's uh, rendering, we got some points and it scores 34,493, where this uh, 32 core 64 threads uh, thread ripper 2990v uh, something something scores 30,000 but of course that is just one CPU um, where we are working on four CPU so individually this CPU is doing very well but we are beating it with four Intel CPUs we don't really have anything compatible Intel buys down here so yeah it's kind of a shame there's no doubt about it that AMD CPUs are doing really well right now but this Intel CPU uh, keep in mind that it's about five years by now so yeah it's uh, it's, it's still kicking a punch and especially with its three bodies it's uh, it's doing really well okay it seems like we might only be working half power here or it's not using the hyper threaded uh, part of the CPUs because it's uh, as you can see half of it is working really hard the other part is not working at all so it might be optimizing and only using the real CPUs and not using the hyper threaded parts of the CPUs uh, okay I'm a little bit confused here if you see up here you can see that the processor is being used like 54% uh, I have a um, maybe you know uh, normal windows can only use two cpus and uh, this is a server version and it has four cpus so maybe uh, the benchmarking program does not know how to use four cpus um, yeah if you know anything about this do let me know in the comments oh that cpu is weird why is that being used down there that's that's funny Hmm. Now oh, it's another one. Funny stuff is going on here. And in the background we are still doing this. We are done in not that long. Okay, time ran out. I believe it's com completing this one. It's stopping, right? guess we have to stop it ourselves I guess that's not a bad score uh, compared to all the other numbers so let's try the the single CPU performance up here see what that can do I'm not expecting that to do as good I think I pressed it twice I see that my studio lights is <laughs> Uh. One core is definitely slower.
We will uh, we'll get back to this. This might take a while. Okay, so it seems that it has completed. And if we look around there, it says 4904 points for single core rendering. And um, yeah, I was talking about only using half the power and we can kind of see that here because it says that it has 36 cores and in reality it um, it has 72. Uh, it sees all the threads but it doesn't count all the cores so that is kind of weird. So it looks like it might only be using two of the CPUs. So as I have also downloaded Cinebench release 20 I'm just gonna run that as well. Oh that already completed. So. Uh, yeah, but that says the same thing, 36 cores, so um, yeah, it seems to be using just about the same amount as the other one. So it seems that I was able to uh, dig up a little bit of a mystery anyway. Why does the server or the program here not see all four CPUs in here when there are four CPUs in here? Um, that's really weird. Maybe we should open up and see. This is a very nicely specced server. The server can hold no less than six terabytes of RAM. That's the blocks of RAM that no one can afford. But still, this is 1.5 terabytes of RAM and it's only half full. So let's just have a sneak peek inside. I'll shut it down. It was getting noisy anyway. So let's have the cover off. This is a heavy server uh, carrying it. You can see here it weighs to something like 18 to 36 kilograms. I have disconnected the power because uh, yeah, messing with this stuff with the power on is really stupid. But it has this tray on the top. You can see there is uh, blocks of memory and there is two CPUs. But that is only half of it. Over here there is a blue lever, lever that you can you can pull and you can take this up and beneath it is another two CPUs and the same amount of RAM. So there is 24 blocks of memory on each <laughs> on each floor here. So a, a very well specced server. Um, so yeah, it has four CPUs. It should do better than what we saw. So my best guess is that this uh, Cinebench isn't um, able to see all four CPUs and use them, but that's just my estimate. If you have a better suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. It's probably only meant to be used for the client version of Windows and not the server version, so therefore it's not um, able to do four CPUs. But what do I know? I don't think this video became as short as I was expecting because I've been waffling along for way too long so I'll finish it up and just thank you very much for watching do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and now I have to get up again have a nice day bye bye